gang welcome to the mo gang or welcome back mo gang if you are returning if you are not familiar with who the mo gang is the mo gang are my subbies so therefore if you are here and you have not joined the mo gang by subscribing i need you to go ahead and go down below hit that subscribe button and the notification bell select all so that way you are notified when I post a new video. Let's get this out the way. Happy New Year to everyone, okay? Yes, I know it's February, but this is my first video for the year. I just took January off. I just genuinely just didn't want to record any videos. And I am coming out of uh, Knotless Braids. I think I have a video up already here on my channel. I will link that up in the cards or down below for you guys to check out as well. Or I may put it on the end screen just so that way you can kind of go and check that out and see what's my technique for doing Knotless Braids on myself. But um yeah i had that for the last about three weeks maybe yeah maybe right at three weeks i've had that for like that time frame and i just took them out yesterday because i was over it and i am getting my hair straightened next wednesday so you guys are seeing this y'all gonna see this like february the something um, you may see this this Wednesday, actually. So you may be watching this the day after Valentine's Day. So that's the plan anyway. Hold me to it. I'm going to hold myself to it, okay? So today I am going to just rock and roll. I had previously recorded another intro, but it won't give the energy I needed to because to be honest, I am so tired today, but I feel better now. I've gone to the gym. I've eaten. I've had some proteins, all that good stuff. So I feel much but better Today now. is going to be another one of my affordable wash day um, reviews as well as demo. Um, I am planning on doing, yeah, I'm going to do a twist out and I think I'm going to do like I have been doing for a while now. Um, I think I'm gonna do a few little, um, twists here. If I don't do the actual twist, I will slick this area a little bit, um, slick and pin it. So that way when it dries, it dries sitting back a little bit. I kind of like this side to be pushed back a little bit. So I usually do like little flat twists. I may do like five or six flat twists on this side, just in this corner, just to kind of hold it back and give it a little something, something, but I may not do that today. I may just kind of slick it a little bit. Um, and you know, pin it how I need to, if, if necessary, but I'm going to do a twist out, but we are doing another affordable wash day review and style. So these are new to me products. My affordable wash days more or less are for the, you know, the college students of the world. Okay. The balling on a budget and I'm not about to go out here and spend and I'm saying, because I'm speaking from experience, I'm not going to spend 60 to to $100 on wash day products because some of my products, I'm not going to lie, they pricey, but that's just what I prefer. That I mean, they good. They work. They work. I don't mind spending money on it, but not everybody wants to blow money on natural hair products, right? For their hair. So therefore, if you don't, this video is for you. So today's wash day video is going to be a full wash day from start to finish for $15. $15. Mm-hmm. Yep. These are brand new products. I still have the little plastic on them and everything. I have never seen these products before, so I don't know how new they are. Um, I did get these products from Dollar General. And the brand is called Story. Um, so this is over there with all the other like natural hair care items like the African Pride, all that good jazz. So this is what the shampoo looks like here. And I am absolutely obsessed with the packaging as you guys can see. I still got the little plastic on the little top here. So I have not opened any of these. I don't even know what this stuff smells like. I hope it smells good, um, but we shall see. Um, so I have three products today. So this wash day slash night-ish, late afternoon-ish at this point, should be fairly quick. I don't see it taking, fingers crossed, I'm hoping I won't 
take longer than three hours from wash to style. Um, but this is their hydrating shampoo with wheat protein and aloe vera um, infused with natural ingredients designed to keep curls moisturized, smooth, and balanced. This is a 13 ounce bottle of shampoo, which is pretty fantastic. G honestly, I don't even need 13 ounces of anybody's shampoo at all. Honestly, eight ounces would be fine. And even honestly, sometimes eight ounces is too much. Six, I probably can get away with, with no problem. But you get plenty of product. And this was $5. So like I said, this whole wash is $15. We and tax and all that stuff. But $5 each product that I'm going to show you. Um, and all the products are paraben free, cruelty free, phthalate free, and dye free. So I am going to shampoo with this. I'm probably going to shampoo two to three times, at minimum two times. Um, because like I said, I am fresh out of braids and this is just my hair. I put it up to go to the gym and it was in twists and I detangled it last night. So hence why it's looking how it's looking. She's looking very big, full and crazy. Yeah. So next product is the Story Intensive Deep Conditioner Mask, which looks like this here. The packaging on this stuff is so nice. These are the same all free, whatever, whatever products. So I'm not going to read there for each and every one. All of them are the same as far as no anything. I think the last product is too. Um, and this um, intensive deep conditioner mask is with coconut oil, shea butter, and sweet almond oil. That sounds like some great stuff to me because all those ingredients I love. So, um, and it is infused with natural ingredients designed to provide intense rehydration for thirst, thirsty curls. And this is 10 ounces. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We shall see what this does. I, it's not like a watery consistency. I can tell it's pretty, it's probably going to be thick and creamy if I had to guess because it's no like um, swishing around sound. So, I like that. And the last product that I have that I'm going to be using to do my twist out, and I will, of course, per usual, I am going to sit under the dryer. And more than likely, what I'm going to do is come back to you guys in the morning before I go to the gym to show you the results of my twist out. So that's what we're going to do, okay? And the last thing is this smoothing twist and set curl cream with shea butter and vitamin E. That is what this looks like here. Hopefully you guys cannot hear my background. I have my window open and I hear a little kid on the other street wailing. I think they're getting rolled around in something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, that is this. So I am gonna go ahead and hop in the shower and get a little, get a little footage in there magiala asmr or whatever um of the water trickling and all that good stuff i'm gonna give y'all some little soothing sounds for a little bit and then i am gonna voice over um as far as like the application you're gonna see me do the lathers and everything like that so you'll see how it works in real time um and like i said hopefully i will only have to shampoo twice if I need to, I will go in a third time with this. I hope I don't, and I hope it's not too stripping um, because the wheat protein, luckily the wheat protein is pretty far down on the list. So hopefully this will feel more on the lines of my um, Nature's Little Secret Hydrating Shampoo, which if you guys know, y'all know, I love that shampoo. Um, hopefully it feels like that, if not better, we, you know, as far as the a hydrating shampoo, but yeah, so I'm about to go get in the shower, get to washing this hair and I will be back once I have rinsed it out and I'm going into, um, applying the deep conditioner. So I will apply that after I get out and we will go from there. So I'll see you guys in just a few. <laughs>
I have completed the wash day portion as far as the shampoo goes. We're one I have finished up the shampoo portion of today's um, video. So I used the hydrating shampoo, right? Based on the claims, and it's not a lot of claims, I've kind of read over what it says here as well as the stylist tip that they gave. Um, I really enjoyed this shampoo. Um, it is nice and cleansing. I feel like my scalp is nice and clean. We're going to see in a second to make sure I don't have anything still on my scalp. Y'all know how my scalp is. If you don't know, listen, especially coming out of braids, I will have buildup. Okay. It's just no two ways about it. It's going to happen. <laughs> so we're going to see if it really cleaned as great as it felt. I don't feel like I felt anything left behind on my scalp. I did go in twice with this and it is right here as far as how much I use. So I'm going to get probably six to eight more uses out of this bottle before it's completely empty. And naturally I have a ton of shampoos, a ton of products. So it's going to take a while for me to get through this, but I definitely enjoy this. My hair, when I rinse it out, um, although it does have the wheat protein in here, my hair didn't feel sh stripped. Like it felt clean. All right, let's try this again really quick because I have to jump on a call. But if y'all see a weird transition clip and now you see, you know, clearly I'm doing something to my hair now, my phone stopped recording and I didn't realize. So <laughs> we love that. But I was in the middle of talking about how this is nice and cleansing um, as well as it gives good hydration. Um, I'm going to just get straight to my rating of this out of five. I give this a five out of five. I have no complaints about this shampoo. I think it is a really, really good. And as you guys can see, I'm not sure if it was shown earlier, but I did not use a lot of this at all. So very, very pleased with this. And at the moment I was applying sorry if you see any stuff on it i was applying the um deep conditioner which is supposed to revitalize revitalize your curls with um story intensive deep conditioner this thick creamy formula is infused with natural ingredients designed to provide intense rehydration for thirsty hair and let me tell y'all something this stuff is good <laughs> This stuff is good. I am hoping when I was cutting my hair, uh, like the braids out of my hair, I hope I didn't actually like cut, cut my hair. I can't tell, but I feel like my, the, what I'm seeing is still from my cut. It's very, very blunt though. Like this was kind of got me a little concerned. I'm not going to hold you. Um, so yeah, my hair is not staying in my little twist or none of it, <laughs> but, Ink. but, um, this is very, very nice. It is actually, um, like just drinking into my hair and I am loving it. It applies very, very nice. It is a nice, thick, yet creamy, um, leave in conditioner. And I have been trying to make sure to give my edges some of this goodness. And I just am twisting it away. And then I'm going to just put it in my, um, put my hair in my shower cap that y'all saw me on, have on in the previous clip. Um, I'm just going to put that on, but I'm just going in now and adding some more. And as you can see, it's not really moving much. I feel it moving, but you really can't see in real time that it's moving. So it does have slight movement to it. So it's not super duper thick, which is a good thing. So, yeah, so I'm just going to finish applying this. It does say, um, let it sit for five to ten minutes. The styling tip did say to sit with like a shower cap and a damp towel or whatever on. I'm not going to do the damp towel, but I'm absolutely going to deep condition. Y'all already know. 
deconditioning is my favorite favorite part of wash day so i am gonna go ahead and twist this last section up put my shower cap on and go i'm gonna probably just use my my hot head cap um i'm gonna apply a little extra to and i don't honestly i don't feel like i use a lot of this i think i only probably use like maybe that much of it it still feels very heavy um but so far i am really 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 liking the application put my little shower cap back on and i am gonna use my hot head which looks like this here i'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave i usually do a minute on each side so i do a minute flip it inside out another minute flip it again and i usually do 45 seconds and then i plop it on my head so let's get to that and then i will be back to let you guys know what i think about the deep conditioner once i rinse it out see y'all then all right so i have rinsed out the deep conditioner and to be honest this is going to end up being kind of if in total at least a three hour wash day like from start to finish and let's see what does my hair feel like um it feels good it does feel more on the hydrated side versus that nice like plush um like moisturized feeling it feels good though you guys can see like some of my curl definition as well so i mean it looks good it feels it feels nice though it feels really really nice so let's see it's designed to provide intense rehydration to thirsty hair um i don't think i wouldn't say intense that word i feel like can be left off i don't feel like it was intense at all but my hair does feel very good so my rating i would give this for the claims i'm gonna say four and a half out of five um just simply because like i stated i don't feel like um intensive should be in the wording at all because it's not intensive not an intensive deep conditioner in my opinion um so as you guys can see now i'm just gonna go ahead and i made my side part here i love side parts preferably my side part i always do on the left for my hair to fall to the right side of my face um and then pretty much i just kind of go I go ahead and section off the front corner because that's going to be one. That's going to be one. I go straight down on the other side for this one. Then typically, I actually need a little more in this section. Because the ones that I have lining, basically lining, um like the back part of this section so basically the twist that go here i kind of do going like kind of back a little bit it's all in the direction you do have to be mindful of the direction that you're kind of letting the twist fall because however you let the twist fall or however you set your twist is where it's going to be so you definitely want to make sure to be mindful of that and then i just part straight down the middle like that and for me, I like to do um I prefer to do not defined parts, just finger parts, because I find that doing finger parting for my twist outs is a lot easier for me to hide the parts. Versus if you do strict hard lines, 
I find that it's harder to, and I'm not, um, I'm not a person that picks my roots or anything. Like I just let my hair kind of be, <laughs> I really just let it be here. So we're going to get ready to go in with the styling. What's this? The smoothing twist set curl cream. So, and this was actually already off earlier. It stuck to the lid. So, cause we, mm, and it smells consistently like everything else. Um, it's fairly thick. Um, it does have movement. Uh, but it's not watery at all. So that's good. And so I'm just gonna try to kind of, so I'm just kind of finger part my first twist. Yeah, for this, this will be fine. And then go from there. And then I'm probably gonna have three twists here. And then I'll be done with this first little section. So we're going to start with this. I'm going to go in. I got, I found this cool, like, pick comb type situation. Detang like detangling pick comb. And then it has like a little mini rat tail on the end. I, and I like it. It actually, because usually, listen, combs don't be, mm -mm. combs don't be doing it for my hair most of the time. But this actually, like, works really good to, like, glide through. All right, so I have done my first twist. Y'all, I'm sorry. That last clip literally jumped. I was talking about the the comb and how I got it last week, so I don't have the packaging and stuff still. I'm over it. I'm over it, okay? <laughs> so I have already gone in and applied the cream. I was still recording, and I wasn't recording. So I have already gone in with the cream for this first twist and this is how it is looking and i am absolutely a thousand percent going to go in and just kind of twirl it around like that and put a double prong clip on my roots and this i basically do this so my roots um dry flat they don't dry poofy because if I don't do that, it's going to dry like my roots are going to be poofy. So, so far with this cream. Okay, so the claims, I'm going to reread that because like I said, I wasn't, clearly I wasn't recording. Um, use the Story Twist and Set Curl Cream for curling and defining smooth twist outs infused with natural ingredients to help curls maintain their style moisture balance length retention and elasticity and you can apply this to clean wet or dry hair twist around finger braid coil roller set let air dry or speed up the dry time put a heated dryer once dry separate the curls in to the desired volume so yeah we're gonna use a hooded dryer and i'm gonna sit under there probably probably for about an hour and then if need be if it needs to seal you know dry some more then we're gonna dry some more from there overnight just air dry um all right so i think I'm trying to kind of get my sections a little bit better my hair um my hair is drying up very quickly like it's it's because it's nothing it's no uh leave-in in here there wasn't a leave-in um which was kind of eh, it's kind of a bummer but i'm using a cream styler so i don't really care now if i was using the gel right then I would definitely have to like I would have to get <laughs> um I would probably just use the cream as like a leave-in or something like that I would have to do something up under the gel I don't play about mm -mm, going straight into gel so let me just spray this section a little bit because like I said it my hair is most certainly drying up and I don't want it to be completely dry I prefer to just use this on 
damp hair you know what I'm saying so that way I feel like I'm locking in the water with the cream like the water that's on my hair into the you know into my strands and stuff yeah like so far this is straight like the the moisture feels very nice on this so that's good I do feel like I got to kind of use a decent amount but again this is a, a cream styler so it's not you know it's not like I'm using a mousse or anything like that where it, it feels different but adding a little bit more it does give me that like kind of tackiness I look for in a styling cream like not just a moisturizing cream so I do like that a lot and then we're just gonna go ahead and twist this down and y'all I kind of low-key high-key feel like and I'm hoping I didn't. I don't think I did. I think I'm just kind of paranoid. But it feels really good going on to my hair. It's nice and moisturizing for sure. Hopefully, you know, it locks in some good moisture. We, we, we're going to hope. <laughs> we hope it actually is good at moisture retention as it claims. All right. So I'm going to twist this on up. Put the double prong clip at the root and get to twisting up and i honestly i'm not gonna bore y'all with standing here watching spit up clips of me twisting my hair i'm gonna go ahead and finish twisting my hair i'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like before i go under the dryer a few minutes see y'all then all right y'all i do not have my microphone in right now so i'm just gonna try to speak up a little bit and increase the volume uh, during editing so um i did not come back last night sorry to show you guys the wet results but you can see how the swiss are looking kind of juicy they look really nice they feel really nice and moisturized and everything so, all right there we go i had to readjust y'all had to readjust y'all um but i did um sit up under the dryer for about probably an hour total <clears throat> by the time i was all said and done and i just took like the perimeter um double clips out uh here we go I just took the perimeter ones out so I could sleep comfortably. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and take out these. I'm gonna speed it up. I think that is all I am going to because why not no I probably shouldn't mm. Mm. no nope I was gonna put oil on my hands to get ready to go through and um um separate not gonna do it because i don't want it to mess up like the what i feel like the results are gonna be so um because it like i said my soft my hair feels very soft and it honestly feels like it has some um like not product residue i don't want to say that but like the the oil oils or whatever it feels like i feel that so i feel like i won't need any additional oil. I feel like if I add additional oil, like I'm going to lose any and all definition. So I'm not going to even do that. And I do like to kind of just go twist by twist, unravel, and oop. Okay, bounce back. Boom, bounce back. So that is what we are looking like. 
nice and defined. It is nice and soft. Um, I'm just going to separate it just a little bit. Um, I was only going to do like enough separation for day one. So, yeah. And my hair does kind of go wild for a little bit. <laughs> when I take my twist out, it does not lay like it should. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up and finish taking these uh, twists down, separate them, um, try to kind of get them to lay down a little bit, and I will be back in just a few. All right, you guys, so I am all done separating, fluffing, and kind of somewhat letting it settle some. It's still trying to kind of settle down a little bit um, into more of my shape, but I mean, y'all can see. Y'all, y'all see. But. Do y'all see? Do y'all see? Like, there's still a lot of nice movement. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, my final thought. Oh, and by the way, as far as how much of the cream, mm, as far as how much the cream I use, I'm about here on the cream, right about here. And it was pretty much filled up like to like here. So I used from about this rim to about here-ish. So not too bad at all. And I was making sure I was like more or less nice and heavy handed, um, making sure to add water. I, I think adding the water and really smoothing really really good because i add product as i go through each twist i don't really like to apply like product to a full section and then go in and whatever and if i need to add more and more no i rather just go ahead and add what i'm gonna add on each twist add the water really brush it through good to make sure it's nice and detangled and then start twisting so i feel like this came out really really good i do feel like it has very nice moisture my hair is very nice and soft like my hair feels really really good um and hopefully you know this you know keeps rolling through the rest of the week but getting back to this cream, what is my rating on this cream? Y'all, this cream is a five out of five for me. Five out of freaking five. Five out of five. Like this affordable wash day, y'all. And just to remind you guys, we used three products. Three. Three. That's it for this whole entire wash day. And if I had done it consecutively, as far as like making sure to be mindful to time it back to back to back um, and not like do any extra sitting around, this really probably took about maybe three and a half hours from wash to style, honestly. Um, and that's not including drying time. 
drying time i like i said i ended up sitting under the dryer for about an hour and for the most part my hair was dry i don't think it did much drying overnight um but i did just kind of tie the scarf just so my hair could stay out in the back if it did need to dry more but i had no wet spots whatsoever my hair was completely dry i will say there is um some like little uh very fine white residue um as far as like flakes um but it's not yeah it's not in my hair at all so i don't know what that is right there but yeah like there's no flakes visible in my hair but when i do that i can see very fine very very fine um flakes flying um and again i was a little heavy-handed um, on some of these parts, uh, as far as some of these twists, as far as the product goes. So, I mean, it's kind of to be expected, but it's not anything you're going to see. Probably if you have on black, you're going to see it a little bit better because that's how I saw it. I saw it on my watch. So, um, but I'm not even mad at that. That doesn't even bother me because <laughs> not at all because it's not showing. So I don't really care if it's just flying wherever, like, because you can't really see it um but yeah so this wash day as a whole y'all was fantastic so my favorite product out of everything i use today i would probably have to say the shampoo i would probably have to say the shampoo was my favorite product that i used for this particular wash day and this is the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions whatsoever, definitely make sure you leave those down below. And subscribe if you have not already at this point. Because if you watch this whole video and you're not subscribed, that's a problem. You need to join the Mo Gang. So come on over to the other side, okay? Come on over here. <laughs> we welcome you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.